Today you're gonna learn how to put bobbleheads on characters or weapons or big feet or big hands or whatever you want. A brand new discovery by Thomas Jenk, who I can't take credit for this, but this is really cool stuff and it's really easy. Let's do this. So you can go to Sketchfab or wherever and find some mesh that you want to put on your character, whether it's a hand or a head or whatever. I found this really cool smiley on Sketchfab, which I'm going to be using today. I'll drag in my textures and I'll drag in my mesh. I'm going to leave the default settings here and import all. I'm going to connect my materials with my textures, plopping them in here. Bada bing, bada boom. Colored one on the base color. And I believe this one said it was roughness. So we'll just plug this into roughness. A nice shiny smiley face. Now I'm just going to drag this smiley into the world and take a look at him here. So pretty cool. If I bring this over to the player spawner, I'm just going to measure it up with the head to just see how big it is. If it's big enough. He's a happy guy. I think I might make the scale of this thing like 1.1 when we go to do this here. So we've got our mesh, we've got our materials, etc. What we're going to do is create a Niagara system and then plug it into the visual effects power up uh, spawner. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to go to FX Niagara system. New system from selected emitters. You can do this with various emitters. We're just going to pick directional burst. I'm going to click the plus sign and click finish. I'm going to call this smiley VFX. Double click to open. All right. So here we are. We're going to change a few things here. I'm going to delete the sprite renderer. I'm going to delete everything inside of particle update. We don't need any of this like so. Delete everything in particle spawn and in particle update add your static mesh location. And where it says triangles, click that fellow there and click sockets. Excellent. Go to render, click the plus button and we're going to type in mesh renderer. And where it says meshes, change the mesh to your smiley. Now up here in this tiny little window, you can see our little smiley guy. There he is, so happy. Now if we want to change the size or the offset, we can do that. If you go to Mesh Renderer and here where your mesh is, you'll see that there's a scale, a rotation, a pivot offset. So I already said I wanted mine to be 1.1, 1.1, and 1.1 for my scale. It increased slightly here. In fact, we may just, to be extra safe, do 1.3. You can change it later. Whatever. You can change the rotation of it if you want so it lines up correctly, but this should work out of the box for us. If your mesh does not, you can change these rotations and offsets. And for the Z, you can bring it up higher or lower, like so, if you want. But it's best to test it first. Okay? And this is just going to run infinitely. I'm going to click Save. That was it. And now what I'm going to do is use a device. So here in the devices, we can look for power up, VFX power up. Just drag that somewhere onto your screen here. And we can rename this as VFX Smiley. Uh, looking at the settings here now, okay? This is the settings for the spawner itself. Honestly, I don't care about this right now um, because we're just gonna assign it off the spawner. But I'm gonna turn mine on infinitely. And sure, I'll turn on respawn, time to respawn zero, just so other players could use it if they want. No audio for me. And visual effect, I want custom effect. This is really important. Okay, custom effect. And for our custom effect, we're going to type in the smiley and put it right there. And here's the other important thing. You can pick the socket that you want it to attach to. Left foot, right foot, right hand, left hand, center, pelvis, uh, Head is what we're looking for. Use pelvis if you want to put your character in a diaper. Head for the head. Excellent. You can put audio on if you want. And everything here looks okay. Read the options. You may want them for your game, like persist on elimination, etc. Okay, so what we want to do is here in the pickup of the VFX spawner, I'm going to click this, and I'm going to add my, my player spawner pad, one, 
and on player spawn, and we'll do the same thing for the second player, on player spawn. That way, as soon as they spawn into the game, they pick up the VFX and it shows on them. Let's see what happened. And there you go, we've got a smiley here on his head. Of course, we can't see it because all we can see is the back of his head, but there we go. A nice little smiley face. And just to have a little more fun, why don't we make a few more of these for the other uh, parts of the body, the hands and the feet. I'm gonna duplicate this. We're gonna call this left hand. I'm going to duplicate it, call it right hand. We'll duplicate it again for the hands and, or for the feet. Uh, I'm gonna change the VFX to another one I have a spike ball, and we'll do left hand. And then for the right hand, same exact thing, the spike ball, but for the right hand, and we'll do the same thing for the feet, left foot, right foot. Now, one more important thing before we build is to know the priority of the VFX because you can only have five at one time. And so if you notice here, there is a Custom Effect Exclusivity Index. If you want all of your effects to show at the same time, set these to different numbers. So left foot, I'm gonna say left hand is one, right foot is two, right hand is three, and here will be four on the smiley, and save that. That way they spawn all at the same time. Uh, and there we go. As you can see, they've all spawned in their designated spots, but you can notice how the pivots are off on some of these. We're not gonna do that, but that's where you start playing with pivots and offsets and moving them right where you want. You can also do this with weapons as well too, swords, anything you can think of. Uh, just make sure it's the right size as the original weapons and it will work and look cool. So there you go, we've got our weird, funky looking, smiley spike dude, uh, but that's how you do it.